week? How, how are the guys coming along, getting ready for tomorrow's game? Oh, yeah, no, we've had a good week. Um, we have seven seven day turnaround, so um, so that's good. You know, it's always good to have those you know extra days days in your turnaround. So um, yeah, so we, we, I think we've come up okay. So um, we've trained pretty well. So hopefully, you can yeah play well tomorrow. How's Paps come along? Is there a chance? Is he in out? What's, where's he at? Uh, we'll see how he pulls up from train today, and then. If he if he pulls up okay, and I mean 100% okay, it'll um, be a good chance that yeah we'll we'll put him in somewhere tomorrow. As in, are you, is he more likely to have a bench role? We'll, 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 we'll see how he gets over training today, and then we'll decide that. Mel. Yeah. How, how has it been this this last couple of weeks? As you get through the final stages of this, because it's every week it's sort of like is he in, is he out? It's, uh, uh. it's been a bit of an ongoing thing. Yeah, get where it's been ongoing is you guys. You just keep asking. <laughs> so he's a bit of a draw card though. Yeah, well, just wait know. just wait till Friday night and see whether he's named or not. So that's all he's gotta do. Tuesday night and then Friday night. It's just how yeah. impressive you've been with his resilience obviously it's been a, a really serious traumatic injury. Oh it is, yeah. And yeah. You know, I think it's thirteen months since he played, so there's a bit of as I said, you know, we didn't expect any, anything of him this year and we don't, you know. Um, and they just coming through what he's come through and well, I've never heard of injury you know like he had um, you know coming through that's one thing but then not playing for 13 months that that that's a long time and you know, he is a, an elite player but you know if uh, you know what you do and what you do well if you don't do it for 13 months it's it, it takes a bit of um, picking up again you know so again if we would have loved to have another eight weeks or six weeks in the season uh, but we haven't that's just the way it is, how, how long he took to recover. Um, but like I say, we're not going to take any chances now. And, you know, it's, since he's been playing, he's, there's a couple of sessions he's pulled up real sore from. Um, so, you know, he mightn't have trained the next session or, you know, been in doubt, you know, for the, the games in Queensland Cup. So, but like I say, you know, we're, we're still not expecting too much of him this year. Like I say, we'll just see how he pulls up after today and then, and then go from there. Did you catch the game last night? No, I didn't actually. No, I was out, so um, yeah, I was a bit surprised at the result. I think probably everyone would have been, but um, yeah. Do you think these games, like they can be a bit of a banana skin for the team already in the finals, playing a team that's not in the finals? You know, they almost play with nothing to lose. And... Oh yeah, like, like, I think you know teams that can't make the finals, you know, like say exactly what you say, they've got nothing to lose. So you know, probably throw the ball around a little bit more than what they generally would. And, Play a little bit of, yeah, um, for, for himself up, I suppose. And you know, and if you don't go out and defend that well, that's that's when you really get hurt, you know. And um, so, like I say, if, if they play that ad, ad lib footy and you know the passes stick, it's uh, it's it's hard to handle. Anyone else in, in doubt for tomorrow? Or, um, looked like Nelson was wearing a jacket at least when I was here. I didn't see if he was on your list. Um, no, I don't know. He might be trying to lose a bit of weight, and I, I don't know for his fight. I, I'm not quite sure. No, um, I don't think he's got uh, any issues. Um, yeah, we we had a couple there, like um, you know, Tui. We had a check, and um, Harry. We had the check, but uh, other than that, I, I think most guys are okay. Yeah. Are, you, are you fully behind his boxing career? Suppose, Say again, sorry. Are you fully behind him having a having a box or his boxing career? I guess it's keeping him super fit, and it's after it's in the off season. But... Oh, at the end of the day, as long as it doesn't interfere with his footy, yeah. I suppose we'll all be happy if he wins his fight. If he gets punched in the head too often, that probably ain't going to help us, you know. So, <laughs> we'll see what happens. And Craig, the club's got a new sponsor here, Kankin Institute. Yeah. What's, what's the importance of off-field education for your, for your players? Well, I think it's really important, you know, for, you know, sometimes when you start a rugby league career and, you know, you think it's going to last forever. Well, it don't. Um, you know, I've been through that myself, you know, and, I had a 10 year playing career at Canberra, and you know, after two or three years, I think this is going to last forever. And then all of a sudden, the end comes real quick, you know. So, you got that, they've got to have something, um, you know, that they can do at the end of their career, but also it's also good during their career instead of just being focused on footy 100% of the time, you know, it just helps t take their mind off it, and then but then it helps them have something, you know, at, at the end of their career. So, yeah, all, all those things are, are important. Yeah.